Hello YouTube, uh, good to see you again, everybody out there who hopefully enjoyed uh, the first uh, two videos we posted. Uh, first one of course being about the IPEGA 9083S uh, with the Samsung Tab 7. And then we had our unboxing video of the PlayStation 5. Now I admit, uh, in looking back at those videos, for starters with the PlayStation 5 one, in the excitement of opening the product, I filmed in portrait on my phone rather than a landscape, which meant probably it was only really viewable well on a phone or a tablet rather than a PC. So um, I hope those the people did get to see it and got the excitement of opening that product. Um, it was pretty damn exciting. I had to get it. Um, and of course, the 9083S video, a little long, but uh, I guess I like to talk. Um, now, what's today's video about? So, um, of course, last time we had the iPega controller. Um, generally, good controller. Uh, a little cheap, so the buttons are a bit flimpicky. Um, and, as I perhaps mentioned that video, uh, there's a way to even go bigger on screen. So the moment we've got, this is about 10 inches. It's a good size, pretty good size for gaming. Um, you know, you can see everything pretty well. Uh, can we do better though? Yes, we can. And the product that we have to look at today is the Game Vice. And this is for the iPad Pro, 12.9 inch. So the big boy. Probably, I think, the biggest tablet there is out there right now. Um, probably slightly bigger would be maybe a, a Surface. Um, but as far as I know, the Surface Pro, the processor isn't really there yet. In particular, the graphics. Ready good gaming, uh, maybe the new one when they eventually bring that one out. I think yeah, they got the Surface Seven Pro Seven Plus, which is for business, puts out the better graphics. But um, in any event, we're going to talk about this product for um, iOS uh, for the iPad Pro. Now, Game Vice. Um, now, first thing off, I must warn you that this is for the old uh, versions of the iPad Pro, so the ones with the Lightning connection. As you know, um, recent iPads now have USB-C. And as probably with a lot of accessories, that means it's no longer compatible, uh, this particular controller, with uh, the new iPad Pro. So if you're interested in this controller, uh, you will have to get an older iPad, if you're, if, unless you already have one. Uh, probably you can get some you know, refurbished, for example, or I don't, I don't know if they still sell them, uh, the old ones with lightning connections, but if you're interested in this product, that's what you're gonna need. You're also gonna maybe have trouble finding this product. I know I looked around quite a bit for it when I wanted it. The website of the maker says sold out, and uh, that was the, been the case for several months. Where I was able to get it from was a DJI, the drone, the drone company. Um, I guess you can use it to control drones, maybe. I don't know. I don't know why they sell it. I, I don't have a drone, so I can't con comment on that. Unfortunately, I live in Japan where drone laws are quite strict, uh, particularly as I live in a more uh, kind of city area, so I'm not able to fly a drone. Um, yeah, it'd be fun to fly a drone, I think, but um, never mind. Never mind. Um, yeah, I'll, that would be fun. You know, you could get, I'd love to get a shot of the house with a drone. I think it'd be fantastic, but don't want the Japanese police coming around and arresting me under, I don't know what the law is, but it's quite strict. Uh, but anyway, let's talk about Game Vice. So Game Vice, uh, this big controller for the iPad uh, Pro 12.9 inch. And um, if you look at it, it looks kind of similar to our, you know, what I said was the best, um, probably the best game controller for Android uh, particularly for phones, which is, of course, the Razer Kishi, uh, which is, um, unfortunately, they don't have one for Android tablets. We had to go with iPega, uh, but I still think this is overall the best controller. Now, interestingly, I found out this, uh, you know, fantastic, I'm going upside down, this fantastic controller for our, um, our Android uh, phone, was actually done in conjunction with Game Vice. I guess maybe Game Vice made it and Razer stuck the label on it. Um, so 
this company Game Vice has now partnered up with Razer and made the, the fantastic Kishi. And interesting with that is that the Kishi is a USB-C. So I said before, um, this uh, Game Vice is not supported uh, for um, um, the light, uh, the USB-C for um, the iPad. Perhaps as they've been able to do it with the Kishi USB-C, maybe they can go back and start making these game vices uh, for their um, iPad Pro USB-C. I don't know, maybe they're, they're fo focused on Kishi's these days, they're no longer focused on this particular product. I don't know how successful it was when they first released it, but um, I think it's a fantastic product. And um, if uh, the people of Game Vice are listening to this, I don't know if you are, um, you should get back to the iPad Pro and get the USB-C connection on it so we can use the newest version of, of uh, iOS with this fantastic controller. Uh, iOS, iPad, sorry, no. the newest version of iPad, or, yeah. <laughs> yeah, whatever. <laughs> um, anyway, so great product. Um, it, does, it does have that Kishi feel, it really strong, sturdy, nice controls on it. Uh, it's missing a couple of buttons, uh, particularly like a, a kind of select button. So um, if we look at a Kishi, so look at kind of like in the idea of a kind of an Xbox controller. So we usually have like this like select button here um, on the Kishi, and then usually a start button here. This one unfortunately only has the start button um, on it. Um, so sometimes, like for example, if you're using on GeForce Now, you have to pull up the in the kind of like the touch screen controller if you need to use the select menu. So for example, like I know in games like um, Cyberpunk, you want to like, uh, if you want to save your game, you need to pull up what would be the equivalent to that button on the controller, uh, which this doesn't have, sadly. Um, but overall, let's, let's pop it open. Of course, I've already used it, so this isn't an unboxing video. Um, you know, it's very well packaged. It's a nice, really nice box. I, I think it's a great box. Um, there we are. And if you be careful pulling it out, I think be careful in general using it. I would recommend keeping it in the box as it is a little flimsy looking, as you can see. It's kind of like that. Um, this rubber bit in the middle. And um, then you've got the two controllers itself with this one here with the lightning thing you're able to plop on. You can, of course, if you're charging your I iPad, you, you can charge your iPad at the same time as having this controller on. So if you like a good gaming session, and you got a long enough cord, I guess you could, in theory, plug the, the lightning charging into here while this is connected to the iPad. Uh, as I said, you probably want to keep it in the box a bit, little bit, yeah, I can see it breaking. I'm going to be careful with this and keep it in this box. And what I'll do is I'll pop it on the iPad. I would show you popping on there, but you have to be, it is quite, it might say it's quite um, delicate, um, it is a tight fit. You usually want to pop the um, the actual the i the um, lightning connection in first. Uh, let's just line that up perfectly, and then have a little click, and then you would then put the other side in. So like that. So in the end, you get something that looks like that. It's pretty big, yeah, as you probably can see. Um, I don't know if you want to be doing this for a long time, holding this device as it is. But it, it, it's, um, I, I quite like, I find, I think the control is really good. I think it, it feels good. The only thing I would mention if you're having like kind of like a real fun gaming session, you can like, it kind of flims forward a bit if you move it a bit like that. So if you get really excited, you might pull your controller forward towards you a bit. So be careful with that. Um, I think, yeah, you gotta be careful with it. Um, but it's overall, it's a really nice control. I just think, I mean, the only thing I would say is that I think there is empty space on these con on, on right here and here where they could have put those extra buttons that I mentioned before, particularly that select button would be really helpful. So if ever they get back into the game, that's my suggestion is get a button there. Um, that might be something to do with iOS, I don't know. I mean, I, iOS has so many restrictions. Which is one thing I will say about this is that what is in some ways weighing it down and being a perfect game device is iOS. IOS, of course, is very restricted compared to Android. Uh, the biggest restriction, of course, is at the moment xCloud. Uh, xCloud does not have an app for um, 
iOS uh, because the Apple's store didn't allow it. Apparently, they need to rate every single game in in xCloud, uh, the over 100 games, and I guess, you know, I don't know, protect the kiddies, I, I don't know, whatever. Um, who knows? Um, but right now, you could not play xCloud, but fortunately, Microsoft is finding a way around it. They're going to be doing similar to as GeForce has done. GeForce Now has already got, and we're going to show you that. You can, in GeForce Now, play it by going through the browser. And Microsoft is trying to make a similar thing with xCloud, because of of course, they can't really block a website, Apple. Um, it, but yeah, that's that's one big restriction. So, but what can you do with iOS? I mean, um, some of the things you've got is you've got, of course, the great. Uh, as I said, you've got GeForce Now works fantastic. Um, Call of Duty Mobile. Um, Call of Duty Mobile. Now, interesting with Call of Duty Mobile is your Kishi and your um, your iPega. Uh, you cannot control Call of Duty Mobile by a, um, a controller. Yeah, you have to do the touchscreen. I'm not a particularly big fan of touchscreen gaming, never have been. Um, so unfortunately, I've never been a big Call of Duty Mobile player because of that. But I I do enjoy it on my um, game vice uh, with the iPad uh, because we can use the controller. And uh, other things you can do is, as you can do with Android, is PlayStation Remote Play. And one of the differences is that Android PlayStation Remote Play, the official app, you have to use an official DualShock 4 controller, not a Razer Kishi, for example. So if you want to play PlayStation uh, remotely, uh, you, in Android you have to use a third-party app called PS Play, I think it is, is the one I use. Um, but this one you can use the official one with your controller, and with the official one, it, you can even not only play it, the, if you have your PlayStation on the same Wi-Fi, PlayStation 4, PlayStation 5, that is, you can play it. But also, if you leave your PlayStation on and connect to Wi-Fi at a hotel, for example, or wherever, with, I guess for reasonable internet, but I don't know if a hotel's going to be recommended, you can get into your PlayStation. So if somebody at home is watching on a TV, and you want to get on a PlayStation, you want to go get, crack some skulls with Kiryu, for example, in a Yaksa. Um, you know, maybe even on the toilet, go hide away in there. You know, get get your um, get, 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 get your game vice and your, your iPad Pro, and you can get a pretty good view of your PlayStation. Of course, with that remote play, the key thing is that you either got to have the disc in. Um, if you're a disc guy like me, unfortunately, yeah, you can only have one disc at one time. But if you're digital. Uh, maybe you download stuff from PlayStation Now, for example. Uh, you get quite a lot now with PlayStation Now, or maybe PlayStation Plus games, as well as if you buy them on uh, from the PlayStation Store. Of course, if you have the space, uh, your PlayStation Five. I'm even just installing Call of Duty. I'm um, Cold War. I've taken up a lot of space and uh, got a um, external hard drive on order. Uh, just for PlayStation 4 games, of course, PlayStation 5, you can't get an external drive on it, but maybe in the summer. But it eats space, so I, I don't know how many games you can get. I, I wouldn't recommend the digital edition, for example. Um, and not only that, they don't sell PlayStation games that cheap on the PlayStation Store. You know, sometimes you get a discount on Amazon on a disc game. But PlayStation Store, they seem to stay the same price all the time. Anyway, let's let's all forget all that and let's actually get in to using the controller. Um, so we've been talking a lot about then PlayStation Remote Play, so let's get into the PlayStation 5. Let's see it in action. I'm just going to hop it in here and um, I'm gonna keep up, kick up to my uh, PlayStation. Ooh, I'll keep the camera there. Um, and sorry, I'll connect to my PlayStation 5. I've already got turned on downstairs. So, um, yeah, searching nearby. Okay, let's see if it connects. Connecting, yep, yeah, okay, goody, goody, goody. Um, yeah. And I am in PlayStation 5, in the menu. I am in there. And we've got Astros there. Um, I don't know if that's going to be so fun, because that's a lot of it to do with the motion controller, so. Um, I'll say Call of Duty so we can. And as you can see, with the PlayStation 5, we've got. Uh, a little bit of a gap here and here, um, the black bar. So you've got about that much of your place of your 
um, screen is being taken up of your iPad. So probably you're getting about the same as if you ran this on Android, I think, on, on my note, on the tab, tab, um, for example. So not a huge bump up uh, in space, but it's still fun. Um, you know, so I'll show you some things. I think the new, the new place, I, I hope to do more about the PlayStation, but I love the way now PlayStation now is so clean. Of course, if you're doing remote play, you cannot play the streaming of um, PlayStation Now games. You have to download them already um, to your hard drive. Um, but I'd, I'd recommend PlayStation Now to anybody. There's some really good games on it. You know, a lot of good classics. And it's good, you can download quite a lot of them. Uh, PlayStation Now. If you have space on your hard drive, that's the biggest thing. Of course, PlayStation Plus. Uh, I've, I've got that as well. Where we got the you know the pack games, God of War. I'm waiting to download these when my hard drive comes. Um, I mean, yeah, they even got like right now. If you haven't played, I've already played it, Final Fantasy VII Remake, but that's available on uh, PlayStation Plus. But you see how fluid we're just like we're jumping around the PlayStation uh, in Wi-Fi, uh, having a great time. Um, you know, I mean, if we let's, let's call up, let's do Call of Duty. Um, I don't know how easy it's going to be. Uh, the, I think, yeah, it, as I said, I mean, like for example, like I said the like Astro's game, like PlayStation, the one if you like PlayStation Five is those, is that Dual Sense controller is fantastic. So maybe this is better for PlayStation Four games because that's such a great experience. Like I know with Call of Duty, like you can feel the feel of the trigger on the gun. And Astros, of course, we've got all that fun stuff for like motion and stuff like that. You can't do that with this kind of solution. But, you know, you can, as like I said, I mean, you want a game, you know, I don't know, wife's watching, a, I don't know, something on TV, you know, some crappy comedy or some, you know, nonsense like that. You know, you, you could be enjoying time in your own, you know, your man cave or something like that, um, playing a PlayStation. Uh, not having to worry about you know whatever you want as I as I said I mean you know even on the toilet is like I recommend all right well we're going back to Vietnam first time Perseus right. pinged our radar it was late January right, I'm going into going into Vietnam of course be careful this is Xbox button so X is here this is you know it's not PlayStation layout unfortunately oh. so we got to take out the Vietnamese the Viet Cong um, yeah, so like, yeah, it's like that. Where are they? Here they come. I mean, yeah, it's, it's good graphics. I mean, it's really good. I think it's like, I think it's 1080p or 720 I don't know. So it's not going to be as good as it is if it's on the TV, but you're going to have a great load of fun. I'll better get out of here. Um, you know, you, as I said, you... You know, somebody else is watching TV and you want to be, you know, getting some, I don't know, some Viet Cong. Um, why not, um, you know, do this. And I, I like to try the hotel thing one time when I go to Mexico all the time. You know, hotel in a while. See if that works effectively. Um, having a PlayStation on all the time. Because I don't know if they shut down. Oh, wow, I've got a lot of Viet Cong here. Ooh, oh, dead. Okay, I guess that's the end of the, the PlayStation 5. Oh, it looks like the, some F-15s are coming in. Yeah, I mean, it's pretty damn good. Clear as anything. Great. Enjoyable. And I think, yeah, if you look at the, the size, I mean, because I said there's that black bar, let's have a look at how much a difference it is from the... Um, yeah, I mean, we definitely got more. more importantly, a little bit more. A little bit more. A little bit more. Um, it's not that much with the PlayStation remote, but let's go and have a look at something else instead. Um, so now we're going to try um, try a bit of The Witcher, I think, on uh, GeForce Now. Witcher 3. Uh, Wild Hunt. Um, yeah, that's that's a good game. Um, yeah, so we get all our GeForce Now games. I got quite a few recently with, uh, I think it was the Chinese New Lunar Year, New Year sale. Uh, I'm sure the Witcher 3, I 
and I think like it's like really cheap, really cheap. Um, we've got all of them, all the witches. Um, I I never played the witches before, but I, I I I did like it when I tested it one time on Xbox, um, on XCloud. Uh, but it's going off XCloud, so and I saw it so cheap on on Steam sale, so we got it for Steam. Um, yep, yeah, Witcher, Witcher three, Witcher two, and Witcher one. I figure it paid about ten bucks for all of them or something like that. It's crazy, crazy price. Is our Witcher? Um, yep, GeForce now works great um, here. I can see it there. So yeah, I mean, it's like it's just like playing The Witcher three anywhere. And you got yeah, this one, Witcher three is nearly the whole screen. Um, I couldn't quite get it to do the full screen setting on it. Um, let's talk to this lady. Uh, See, I thought Siri could stand to wait a little longer. It's uninstructive, not to mention unreasonable. Yeah, the buttons feel really good on this, I think, yeah. And um, because it's like directly connected through the USB-C rather than Bluetooth, uh, good response. I'm gonna stay with you a bit longer. I missed you a lot. I missed you, but we have plenty of time to make up for that. Go and train with her. That sounds fun. Just to put that face on. I see. Well, I'll say too much. I guess I'll maybe I'll get banned from YouTube. But yep. Um, yeah, I mean, it's great. I mean, the iPad has a brilliant screen anyway, in general. Um, of course, one thing I'll say is I made a mistake getting a 64 gigabyte iPad. Uh, it does fill up dramatically. Um, and uh, yeah, get the one terabyte one if you can get it. Um, if, particularly if you're interested in this controller and you could get the controller. Um, if you can get the one terabyte, you get a lot more games on it because it does eat space. Um, I'm getting close to the limit. I use it a lot for, um, you know, particularly I like in iPad is particularly good with um, Korg applications. Um, I have a digital piano which connects through a USB, and this the uh, this Korg Wave Station application is, is beautiful. I love it. Uh, that's one of my favorite apps is a uh, Wave Station um, that I have for the iPad. Um, let's end. Uh, I don't know, let's have a look at Cyberpunk. Let's get out of that for now. Um, which, which I can actually fill up the whole screen. That's the game that a lot of people are interested in these days. Um, well, Cyberpunk 2077. I don't think I've got very far from the last time I made a video <laughs> for this game. Um, but, um, yeah, it's a good, it's a all right game. Interesting. I like, I like when we were with Keanu Reeves. I thought that was kind of cool. Um, but, um, yeah, uh, this one we can get all screen. Um, so, yeah, it's, it's pretty damn good on this, with this controller. Like I said the only thing is, is that you would need to sometimes press this button, the controller button. And use the on-screen controller if you want to use a select key to save your game. Because this one doesn't have a signal button. And of course, great thing with these things like GeForce Now, it's not using any, it's only good for a browser, so using hardly any space on your precious uh, iPad space that you cannot supplement with, uh, with a USB, well, with a, a micro SD. So. But I, I use, if, if I want to, like, as I said, you want to push that button there. If you need to, like, pull up the menu, for example. Um, but if that gets annoying, just give me a shut like that. Uh, so, yep. Yeah. Got there. You can see. 
12.9 inches. I think you can only get bigger, maybe as I said, maybe with a, you know with a with a Surface Pro. But um, yeah, brilliant, isn't it? I think it's fantastic, and it's really I I love the feel of this. I, I, it does. I suppose it's easier to hold the iPad Pro than it is normally. You've got something to grip onto. Um, so even in your day-to-day -day uses of like media or anything like that, it does help you use the iPad a little bit. You know, it is a dark gun uh, the iPad Pro. Fantastic, I think. I don't think they should make it any bigger. Um, but this is, I, I think, it, it's like a little hack hack stand. I, I think it's cool. Um, so yeah, I think, even from that perspective, I recommend it. Um, so yeah, so this. Yeah, so punk, you see it's filling up the whole screen mostly. It's only a little bit. I got a gun now. I don't know if I should put that away. I put a gun away. Uh -huh. Put a gun away. Oh, I shot a gun there. How do I get a car or something? Oh yeah, so if I, I, I don't really know what I'm doing with this game to be honest. I, mean, I gotta focus on it a bit more. You won't kill me, right? Oh well. Oh well. <laughs> Terror boys like Grand Theft Auto. I don't know if I should have done that, but well, never mind. Um, but yeah, you can. Uh, the police uh, are getting me. Um. Oh well. Kill this police officer just to do a grab fit thought this style. Uh, but yeah, um, looking really good, nice and smooth. Uh, just, just going to massacre the moment. I don't know if I should be showing that. Um, but, but yeah, you can do stuff like that. Uh, but yeah, pretty easy to walk around. Walk around, um, you know, use the controller, and play it. Uh, I think it's really good. Yeah, and like I said, also Call of Duty Mobile is pretty fun with this. Um, but yeah, generally great controller. Um, really would recommend it. Hope they um, make a version for the new iPad. Um, so encourage me maybe to get one. Um, I'd love to get a one terabyte one in the future. But I really like this controller, so I think um, I hope. That they can match it with it, and um, like I said, it's hard to get a hold of this controller. I think it's the perfect accessory for the, for the iPad Pro 12.9 Lightning. So if you can get it, look for it, find it, search around. You may be get lucky like I got it from DJI. I don't know how much stock there is, but I think it's limited. Um, I don't know if they're making it anymore. So hunt hard and get this great controller for your for her iPad 12.9, and then. And if you haven't got an 12.9, hunt for it. Probably get the controller first, then probably it'd be a lot easier to find the iPad. Um, which is, I mean, the, this generation iPad, I don't know when it was, I think it was the first iPad Pro 12.9 they made. Brilliant still, um, I love it. Um, so, great combination. Highly recommended, Game Vice. Thank you very much for watching.